Why do spiders build webs? Oh. Hello. I didn't see you there. Guess what we're all doing today? Tidying up. <sighs> oh, just need to move this one. <laughs> we're all really busy. That's it. Back a bit. Oh. A little to the left. <sighs> oh, stop, Bar. Oh. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> it's really hard work. <gasps> What is it, Billy? We found a sp sp spider's web. <gasps> That's amazing. I'm a bit scared of creepy crawlies. Shall we sweep it away? Stop, Bar. It belongs to my friend, Susie Spider. She made it herself. She's not scary. That is so clever. It must have taken ages. But what's it for? Hmm. I don't know, Bar. Let's think. Why do spiders make webs? Hey! That's the big question! Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Where? Ask a lot of Why? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way. Guess with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? Why do spiders make webs? Let's find out. Maybe a web is home for a spider. Let's ask her. Susie! Susie! Hmm, thinking about it, I don't often see her in her web. Then it can't be her home. No, and if it's not her home, why has she made it? Maybe somebody else has a spider friend living with them. They might be able to help. You're right, Billy. Susie likes living in my barn because it's dark and dry. Where else do you think a spider might like to live? Outside at Buttercup Meadow? Outside at Horace's Pond? Or inside Willow's Stable? Inside Willow's Stable! Yes, well done! I really hope Willow's got a spider friend. Let's go and see. I thought you were helping Willow tidy up the stable. We were, but we started bouncing and we just couldn't stop. It was so much fun. Come and bounce, Jess. I'd love to, Joey, but I've got a big question to answer. See you later. <laughs> bounce, bounce. <laughs> Hello, Willow. Do you have any spider friends living here? I used to, Jess, but they all moved out. I think they found it too noisy living with the puppies. I bet they did. Um, can you help me find out why spiders make webs? Hmm, I don't know why they make webs, but I do know how they make them. Look. The spiders spin a very fine thread called silk. Silk? It's a bit like the thread Mimi uses for her sewing and it comes out of the spider's tummies. Out of their tummies? That's amazing! The silk makes the webs nice and strong. Go on, test it, Jess. OK. Yes, really strong and bouncy too. It is. Hey, maybe spiders make webs to bounce on. <laughs> like Joey and Jinx bouncing on the hay bales. Maybe, but I've never seen a spider bouncing. I'm sure that's the answer. I'm going to find Susie Spider and ask her to bounce for me. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Bye, Willow. <gasps> hey, Billy. Susie's here. Oh, isn't she lovely? Look at all those legs. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. She's definitely looking for something. But what? I think I know. I think spiders make webs for bouncing. Really? Bouncing? Yes, 
Spider's webs are really bouncy. So how can we get Susie to bounce? Let's sing her a bouncing song. Will you bounce with us? something sticky, you just get stuck. So bouncing isn't the answer then? No, it's not, Bar. I need some more help. I need to ask someone who knows about creepy crawlies and bugs and things. Oh, I know. Horace! Brilliant! Let's go to the pond and ask Horace. Are you tidying up? Shh, yes. I'm just catching my lunch. Delicious. Did you just catch that fly, Horace? Oh, of course I did. You're very clever. <laughs> it's easy if you're a frog. You just put out your sticky tongue and the fly gets stuck to it. The fly gets stuck to your sticky tongue. <gasps> We know something else that's sticky, don't we? Is it a flower, a spider's web, or a hay bale? A spider's web, you're right! Yes. Horace, do you know if spiders eat flies too? Spiders love eating flies, Jess. <laughs> Almost as much as I do. You just gave me a brilliant idea, Horace. See you later. something in Susie's web. I bet I know what it is. Do you? Yes, it's a fly. And here comes Susie. So that's why Susie kept looking at her web. Yes, she was waiting to see if she caught a fly. That's what her sticky web's for. Hey, we've answered the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay. make webs to catch flies. I'm glad we didn't get rid of the web, Jess. So am I. Next time you see a spider's web, be careful not to disturb it. The spider might be waiting to catch her dinner. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye! Bounce! Bounce! Shall we have for our harvest breakfast? <laughs> Hello! Guess what? It's harvest time! It's a special time when you pick the food that's been growing and ripening all summer. Like these juicy blackberries. Mmm, yummy! Bar invited me to a special harvest breakfast. Do you want to come too? Come on then! Can we start? I'm starving. We're waiting for Jess, Bob. I'm here. I'm here. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Hello Jess. Jess. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to Bob's special harvest breakfast. Woo Yay. Yay. Food. What are we eating? Grass, of course. Grass? <laughs> but you 
can eat grass any time. I thought we were going to have special harvest food. Me too. Special harvest food? Like what? Let's think. What shall we have for a special harvest breakfast? Hey! That's the big question! Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Where? Ask a lot of Why? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way! Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play! What's the question here today? What shall we have for a special harvest breakfast? What about something juicy? Hoo-hoo! Like a big, fat, juicy fly. Yuck! Yuck. Oh, dear. <laughs> We're not frogs, Horace. We don't eat flies. I've got an idea. We saw something juicy earlier, didn't we? Can you remember what it was? Was it blackberries, acorns or carrots? Right. Well done! I'll go and pick some juicy blackberries for our harvest breakfast. I'll help. It'll be quicker with two. Thanks, Bob. We can put the blackberries in the trolley. Come on, let's go! This way, Bob. OK. Yes, I'm fine. Look, lovely crunchy hazelnuts. <laughs> oh, Bar, we're not looking for crunchy nuts. Look, <gasps> there are the blackberries. Mm, juicy blackberries. Here you go, everyone. A juicy harvest breakfast. But it needs something else. Um, something crunchy. Crunchy? I've got it. A big, fat, juicy, crunchy fly. <laughs> no, Horace. We're not eating flies. Oh. We saw some crunchy things on our way to the blackberry bush. Can you remember what they were? Peaches, strawberries, or hazelnuts. We saw hazelnuts. Yes, you're right. Yes. I'm going to get some crunchy hazelnuts. I'll help you, Jess. You better be quick. Everyone's hungry. Faster, Jess. I landed on these. They're nice and soft. What are they? They're oats. Oats are Willow's favourite. She loves them because they're so chewy. We don't need chewy food. We need crunchy food. Hmm. Look, there it is. The hazelnut tree. Can you shake down the nuts, Jess? Of course. Yes. Now we've got a juicy and crunchy breakfast. Let's eat it. Mm. Mm. Wow! Yummy! Wow! Mm. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this harvest breakfast's delicious, but it needs something chewy. Chewy? I know something really chewy. Horace, we're not eating flies. Oh. We saw something chewy earlier. 
It was Willow's favourite. Do you know what it is? That's right, chewy oats. I'm going to get some nice chewy oats. I'll come with you. OK. This is the longest breakfast I've ever had. <laughs> should be enough chewy oats for everyone. Here's your juicy, crunchy, chewy harvest breakfast. At last! Mm. Oh. Mm. It's really tasty, but it needs something else. What? Huh? Like what? This is really dry. I like my breakfast wet and mushy. Oh! I don't believe it. <laughs> don't worry, Bar. I know exactly what it needs. I'll be right back. Can you guess what I'm going to get? Something that cats love drinking. It's white, cold and really yummy. Uh... Yes, milk. There. Oh, do you know what we've made? Muesli. Please, can we eat it now? <laughs> yes, Bo, go ahead. Yay! Fantastic. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. This muesli is the perfect harvest breakfast. And we've answered the big question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay! Hooray! Oats and milk make a juicy, crunchy, chewy, mushy bowl of muesli for breakfast. Mm. Horace, you're not eating. Don't worry about me, Jess. My breakfast's coming straight at me. Delicious. Whoopie woo! <laughs> Maybe you can try making a special harvest breakfast too. It's yummy and gives you loads of energy to play. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> what hat should Mimi wear? Oh, hello. We're decorating Mimi's sun hats with flowers and berries. And now she's got to decide which one she's going to wear. Which one do you like best, Mimi? The hat with the berries or the hat with the flowers? Oh, um, oh, uh, oh, I don't know. They're both lovely. I like the one with the berries. <laughs> and I like that one with the flowers. Whoop. Hello, Horace. Hey, just hopping through. We're the one with the flowers. Definitely that one. Good luck, Mimi. Oh, now I'm in a real muddle. Berries, flowers, berries, flowers. Oh. Hmm. How can I help Mimi decide which hat to wear? <gasps> Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lotta. What? Ask a lotta. Where? Ask a lotta. Why? Ask a lotta. Ask it, test it, find a way. Guess with Jess. Come on, let's play. What's the question here today? How can I help Mimi decide which hat to wear? <laughs> huh? Hey, Jess. Hello, you two. <laughs> Yes, you've got to come. There are some new puppies at Horace's Pond. Come and see them. I will in a minute. I've got to answer a big Aww. question first. OK. Come on, Jinx. <laughs> hmm. We need someone who wears a hat. Perhaps they can tell us how they chose it. Can you think of someone? He's woolly, he's white, and he always wears a hat. Is it Billy? Bar? 
Oh, Jinx! <laughs> Let's go and see Bar. Come on. Guess what this is, Bar? <laughs> um, a butterfly? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Bar! Billy! <gasps> Hi, Jess. Hi, Mimi. We're playing shadow games. You can make great shadows on a really sunny day like this. Look! <laughs> Look at me! I'm a woolly shadow! <laughs> <laughs> We've been making things too! See? Oh, they're so pretty! Very smart! Mimi's trying to choose which one to wear! How do you choose, Bob? I don't! I've only got one hat! I've never had to make a choice! You always look great in your hat, Bar. I do. Thanks, Mimi. Look, I'll show you. Put it on me. <laughs> All right, Billy. Here goes. Oh! <laughs> it's dark in here. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks better on you, Bar. <laughs> <laughs> me too. What if you could see someone else wearing your hat, Mimi? Maybe that'd help you decide which one to wear. Oh, yes. Maybe it would. I'll wear one and Bar can wear the other. See? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, Mimi? See what you look like in my hats, but I need to know what I look like in them. <laughs> hmm. Wait a minute. Billy and Bar were looking at themselves earlier, weren't they? Where were they doing that? On the potting shed wall? On the twisty tree trunk? Or on the barn door? On the barn door, yes, that's right. <laughs> Maybe if Mimi puts on a hat and looks at her shadow on the wall, she can see what she looks like in it. That's a great idea, Jess. Let's try it. Uh, <clears throat> well, that's the flower hat. Let's see what the one with berries looks like. <laughs> Just a shape. And there aren't any colours or anything, so I don't really know what I look like in my hats at all. You're right. Hmm. There must be a way. We need some help. I know. We haven't asked Horace. Maybe he'll have an idea. Where does Horace the frog live? In the orchard? In the stable? Or at the pond? Yes. Let's go and see if he's there. Come on. Wait for us. Look at them, Joey. Oh. Hey. Hey, Jess. Over here. Come and see our new friends. Huh? Where are they? There, look. They're there. There's a cat in the water, too. It looks like you, Jess. <gasps> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> it is me. And the two puppies look just like us. Because they are you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Our new friends were us all along. I think you might have found the answer to the big question. Really? Yes. If we can see ourselves in the water, 
Maybe it'll work for Mimi too. For me? Mimi, come over here and look into the water. Ooh! Wow! <laughs> look everyone, it's me! I can see myself perfectly! And my hat! <laughs> look! Hey, are we looking at reflections? Reflections? Yep, that's what it's called when you can see yourself in the water. It's a reflection. A reflection of your face. Well, it's very useful. Have you decided which one to wear yet? Well, now that I've seen them reflected, I've decided I like them both the same. So, I'm going to put all the berries and flowers on the same hat. Yes! Mimi's decided! Which means we found the answer! Yippity-yay! 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 Hooray! Mimi decide which hat to wear by looking at her reflection in the pond. Oh, it's perfect! Woohoo! Next time it's a sunny day, see if you can make shadow puppets and spot your reflection too. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Bob! <laughs> <laughs>